see, I've always liked kids. They're stupid, they're naughty, they're gullible, and scare easy, trust me. But mostly, their parents never believe what they tell them. It's <laughs> quite hilarious. I mean, we all need hobbies, right? Anyway, this is how I got little Joshua. Josh was a curious little boy, always playing indoors, creating imaginary friends and exploring his big empty house. I'm not the reason people move all the time, by the way. No one ever finds me. But no one had been here for so long now, I'm amazed to finally get the chance to play with someone. You see, Josh doesn't realize how dangerous he really is. I've seen him rummaging the attic, looking through all the previous owner's old books and photos. He never knows what he'll find, yet he carries on anyway. I, of course, watch from the furthest corner, staying silent. Just watching. When he brushes his teeth at night, I like to show myself just briefly in the mirror. Watching him scream to his parents is the funniest thing, as they scold him when they find nothing. Not even a trace. Not a sliver of me. Sometimes he forgets that I am all around him, and it infuriates me when he carelessly wanders into the cellar to fetch something. I could get him so easily. Right there, right then! Or when he pokes his hand in the cupboard without looking. I could get him, but I must be patient. All good things come to those who wait. For some reason, he was struggling to sleep that night. It wasn't because of me. I was in my usual spot. Perhaps his curiosity found something disturbing in the house. Who knows? Sometimes I wonder if I am his nightmares. For some reason, he was struggling, struggling, and because of that, he gets up and goes slowly to the bathroom. The light's blown, but there's still some faint light in the room from the hallway. I have already picked my hiding spot. Now this, this was going to be perfect. I'll have him and be on to the next house in no time. I could hear his heartbeat, see the sweat trickling down his cheek as he checks over his shoulders, but it's no use. He leans over, closer and closer. He nearly spots me as I tuck my leg beneath the tap, inches away from his lips. It's fine, though. <laughs> I've killed him. And he didn't feel a damn thing. <laughs> he won't wake up in the morning. And I'll be finding my way onto your house very shortly. <laughs> so you're sitting there and you're like, hey man, that was a really good pasta. I wish I could read more pastas like that. But wouldn't that be amazing? And I'm like, hey man, look at this. This is Creepypasta Network. This is like the best place to be for that sort of stuff. You just go in, you click, you go to the story section, you see a bunch of good stories like the ones I just read. So if you feel like getting off your lazy ass and clicking a stupid link, you'll be just fine. I really should insult you, I'm sorry. Just, just go to the link. Now. Please. Pretty please. Now.